Okay, hello and welcome my friends. I think we're nearing the end of the LCK regular split and uh, yeah, we, we talk about the draft in a moment. Guys, get yourself your drinks. Are you ready for a T1 video? We're facing Nongshan. So I guess I should have prepared some noodles. Uh, well, next time. Anyway, drafts are looking kind of interesting. Obviously now our opponents aren't in the best position, but, but we need to take them seriously to some extent, right? We're more or less secured playoffs, but uh, let's get a better playoff spot and then, um, yeah, I mean, 8-6, you, you know, right? It, it wasn't the best of times, but uh, yeah, we need to get uh, so we need to get some good mindset. We need to get some uh, wins. We, ne we need all of the good stuff to uh, yeah uh, make make the comeback or I don't know, the clapback, the return to a better form uh, in the playoffs. Actually, our form has like kind of been okay, right? The the Genji series on paper it was a 2-0. It could have been a bit better, right? I think a 1-2 like wasn't too unrealistic. Uh, okay, this situation it looks a bit rough, but I think with a flash carry should be able to get away. Guma on the other hand, he even flashes. Okay, bro is wild, but yeah, they have to use everything. I think carrier's ult was a millisecond too late there. Um, Honestly, I, I would like to talk about mid lane, but um, I, I have not been diligent with my homework. I, I have no fucking idea what this champion does. Like, uh, it's, I, I don't even know that's a mid laner. I think, what is it again? Ra Raura? No, it's not Raura. Aurora or something? I, I thought uh, she was a top laner or something, like a uh, like ranged top laner, fun and so on and so on. I know sh her ult is like Camille's or something like that. I, I don't know, man. I, I have to be honest. I have no fucking idea. Um, but whatever. I, we have some knockups. We have... Uh, what is it? <laughs> Yasuo. So uh, yeah, we're all going in for team fighting. Like Zeus with AoE team fight powers. Zeus goes in immediate ult. And uh, yeah, the ult here from Rora. It, Rora. <laughs> Aurora. Looks like a uh, yeah, Camille ult or something for multiple people or something. I don't know. Uh, we we get the Rift Herald. No, we don't actually get the Rift Herald at the end. So yeah, a kill for nothing. 2-3 the scoreline. It's like it, it is what it is. But you see the gold is in our favor. So we take that. Let's try to equalize the dragons here. TP comes in, but not to TP flanked by our cannon. Actually, where's cannon? Oh, there he is. There he was. They just, they just murder us. Wait a fucking second, what? They just murdered us. What? What? Hello? Uh, uh, what? Okay, Zeus didn't ult, didn't flash. I mean, like the Snowshone comp is like stronger earlier, right? Our comp needs like a moment. Uh, I honestly also don't know how much damage Faker does with uh, the Maligma uh, like first item. That doesn't not look like, a, like the best option. But uh, yeah, let's just see. Can we contest Baron? We have an owner, right? Owner can uh, maybe enter. Maybe? Come on, owner! Nah, bleat. But uh, yeah, just look at this. Guma goes in, he immediately gets fucking cum dumpster to nothing. Faker here does some plays. But I mean, it's just no damage whatsoever. Same can be said for Cannon. Faker here, like nice maneuvers, but... Uh... Okay, that was... Pretty generous with the uh, with the root there or stun for Sylvie, but okay, uh, let's take it as a, <laughs> an example where we can now get a comeback victory, right? We we have to believe in the T1 that believes in themselves, hopefully. Okay, vital here, pick him off, get that. Luckily, right, it's still early in the game. There's no uh, what is it, soul, no elder, no nothing. Sure, like their gold lead being 8,000 ahead of us, still scaling well, having high damage champions. But let's just hope that the 311 Nongshim roster is not getting uh, a win. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, nothing to see here. They just go in and just kill two people. Yeah. That's the cool part about the Zongshim comp, man. They just have so much like follow up as well, right? Fisher in theory could also have like just E art all over. Let's see. What? Okay, whose damage was that? Was that like fakers or was that uh, Senna? 
I don't know, man. I again, I have no clue, right? Carrier has a lethality, so it could have been. But okay, they start the Baron again. 28, 29 minutes. We have no chance to even get close to it. Cannon's TP comes in now. Our AD car uh, support is already dead. The same goes for Zeus. Bro, just, yeah, I mean, okay, 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 we lose game number one. Uh, yeah. Uh, hello? Can we, like, not lose to, like, the last, no, last place? No, second last place team or something like that. Jesus. I mean, I looked at the combat and was like, okay, so, like, uh, we are having a bit of fun, right? Because it's, like, very, very aggressive, very, like, uh, hey, we play this, we play that, we test this, we test that. But I think we cooked a bit too much. Faker, okay. I mean, we'll, we we take Faker's damage there. But I mean, Guma and Kerry, I mean, that shit didn't work out at all. Zeus, his last few cannon games are report worthy. Uh, what are we looking at here? T1 again, what the... <laughs> This comp is again so weird. What is this top side with this ball? Like, bo it's like, ah. I mean, it's not that again, it's not that this can never work that you have a very aggressive top side, right? That dives in and then you have a like mid laner and an AD carry that can be like safe and like stand on their own um, for like a counter engage or a counter dive. But usually you want to have your comp on like one side. Either we all kite back or we all go in. Like anything that's like mixed, it's all always a setup for for weakness because one side can be isolated and then taken care of, or if one side is not strong enough, like the whole comp like is just losing so much. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll just have to hope. We'll just have to hope. Here the Snowstorm comp. I'm mean, just I'm not even trying to say anything, right? They have Cassante, and like if we, what the. What the fuck is bro doing? How does it work? What? Oh man, Cassante. Okay, level 2 comes in. Who takes turret? Guma. Yep, that's good. And yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. Not too bad. Not too bad. Baker here also doesn't have to flash or anything. Okay, TP comes in. Decent W. Zeus tanks two shots. Okay. Does someone else have some damage? Yeah. Oh, very close. And like Sylvie could look for something here. Bowling ball comes in, doesn't hit the best target, flashes. Uh okay, so two kills for Sylvie. And W. Oh, okay, very close. Touch the Q, okay. So we oh please no, please, come on, please. Okay, so I mean that's his flash, right? Kara, just let him go. Just let him go. She will stop it. Uh, get the cannon minion. Get the cannon minion. Okay, you got it. I think. I hope. Uh, yeah, we got three plates and like also like two kills or something. So it's not too terrible, but like we lost quite a bit here at the aftermath, right? That's one dead, and that's two. So two. And then, uh, well, whatever. Oh, another? Nah. Does he burn down? Tick, 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 tick. Oh, no. Potion was enough. Okay, you away. Oh, but the, the root connects. Bliad, nah. Oh, come on! Man, for fuck, it's so unnecessary to go super deep onto that. Look at owner, he's already dead. What the hell happened there? Oh, three, man, my bro can't play the game. Like, sure, we get like massive turret gold, and if you look at the gold, right, Guma is like ahead by 800 gold, which is only the tower. Like, we got three kills on Guma, but due to uh, <laughs> Jiwoo has the same number of kills, right? He also has three is three kills. A bit of less farm and obviously less plates, but uh, we'll have to see. Owner takes a nap and will survive in the end. Okay, that's pretty good, right? All two, no, three olds, a flash. We take that. Uh, but yeah, oh, 
Can someone explain to me again why Cannon is still a pick that we play? It's like sure he might get the 1v1 here, outplay something. Uh no. He actually gets that kill. That's impressive. That's very impressive. But I think uh yeah. Zeus, like the thing is it's so insane Zeus had to play so so much better than like normal and me he sorry like had to like play so much worse than normal right okay can they die for fuck's sakes the fuck they get away with so little HP so often man it's going to become uh, like such a fuck off of a game but again Zeus had to play so much better than you normally want or have to expect from a cannon. And on the other side, like Neil had to meal whatever had to like screw so much over. And it's just why the hell pick cannon? It's not a good champion right now. This guy also like escapes for the third time. Third time, man. It's crazy. It's absolutely wild. Doesn't have to use flash, doesn't have to use heal. Just gets away with the old, old trait. Like the gold lead again is not too bad, man, but it's just cringe. Oh, actually, oh, yeah, for fuck's sakes. Ay, 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 ay. Man, look at this. It's a fucking disaster. Guma gets the ult on the wrong angle. Uh, yeah, Guma loses this. Like, we are getting absolutely shit on. We are just absolutely getting shit on. Oh my fucking god. But, I mean, again, why the fuck do we have, like, this cannon pick is... I have no fucking idea. It was bad in the last couple of series, it's bad again. Uh... Okay. Okay, not too bad, not too bad, we'll take it. Flash and ult. With, uh, what is it, Dragon coming up in 5 seconds, 4, 3, 2, and so on and so on. Carrier has to flash. How the fuck did he even get into this position? We'll have to see. Guma has to flash ult everything. Uh, but Carrier have 50%, actually 0% HP. Absolutely lovely. Mwah, beautiful. Uh, we get every summoner and ability of Fisher, but yeah, actually Carrier is just uh, Blast Clone, I think, into the, into the pit. Yeah. Okay, Owner. How the hell came okay, maybe oh finally just took everything and fucking 20 attempts to finally get a good cannon ult. I say that right, we're still losing this team fight somehow. Carry will oh my god. We have a bit of luck once. We'll take it, we'll take it. Man, it's so wild. Look at the 6, 1, and 3 Ezreal. Jeez, man. It's like Guma is like actually pretty fucking strong, but yeah. Oh, man. Mm, yeah. Re remember, yeah, actually, thank, thank you, uh, I think Wolf. Uh, this was our stick for years. But, uh, yeah, this team right now is just not the same. It's like, the decisiveness is somewhere else. The fire, right? The spark is somewhere else. And and no top laner. Like, Owner is, it's, it's not that I, I wouldn't even like say that Owner is like playing that poorly, but uh, it's like, I don't know, man, he's like, he's sacrificing himself for this bot lane situation, but it just ends up being, well, actually, I mean, this, this game way better than the previous one, but uh, we just constantly have like no top lane action. Come on, please get R through. No, he doesn't even have ult. Then why are we stepping that much, that far forward? Okay, finally we're getting Lilia. Just took us everything. This, uh, okay, owner has respawned at least. I mean, yeah. Last game, I think, uh, ah, well, whatever. It's just, uh, it's just so sad. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. We're getting a pick. 
But, uh, yeah. What? Okay, Flash Carrier dies, Fisher just kills owner on the side, and the other three people can't get shit done. Cannon ult is literally the worst thing you have ever seen in your life. And... Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We're, we're, we're just... We got absolutely fucking cooked by Nongshim. <laughs> oh, hey, n thank you for the spoiler. I have not even watched the Genji series. But uh, yeah, Genji losing to KT? <laughs> what? Okay, no, I've, I've got to watch this now. Uh, hopefully that's going to be a better series. At least that's some positivity. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, look at, like, look at this. Faker in mid lane, like, obviously, like, no jungle attention. Let's, let's go, I don't know, let's go somewhere mute and just have gameplay playing in the past. It's like, Faker in mid lane, I think it was okay, right? Fisher, this, like, Yon is like, this his champion, right? He played that on, um... Uh, what is it? EDG uh, youth youth team, and when he subbed in for EDG, this was one, like one of his champions, if I remember correctly. So him being confident on that, it's like no, no biggie, right? And uh, well, like owners paying attention to bot lane in like both games, or at least he's trying to. Uh, Zeus is just solo losing top lane one v one, not by not by a lot, right? But uh, considering that he's pay, playing cannon, right? This is the same as let's just say you pick vain top lane and you go even or just like slightly ahead right that's not what you play the champion for um and like we see it here right he has less team fight impact than the Xanto or the rumble he has less early game impact right he's not having like push or anything to help owner while he's in bot lane or whatever right uh and then the bot lane situation uh yeah i mean i don't know man i think the the bot lane in game number one the lane is just not that great i mean it's okay it's it's certainly playable but it's like i'm not the biggest fan of it and then like i mean also like his build guma went with no crit uh what is it no crit yasuo like highly questionable highly questionable like honestly um maybe again like he knows something i don't but uh, from my perspective right uh, like game game number two uh, just way too over aggressive too un uh, like too unnecessary it's just sad. It's just uh, it's just sad. It's like this this is not a series. This is not two points that we should ever lose ever. Uh, no disrespect to Nongshim, right? Like happy for them. Like Nongshim, they're like a positive force uh, in the LCK, right? Nice people and so on and so on. Like the org and the players from what I, what I know. But uh, yeah, this should not never have been a loss. The only uh, like argument or the only like view I accept this loss as is. If T1 is like, oh, we're not trying, like, at all. Um, and, like, if you look at the gameplay, you could say, okay, yeah, this is like, we just fuck it, we ball. Um, because it was fairly messy, like, in the macro and in every other aspect, really. Uh, it looked like we were testing, like, some champions and some combinations, especially here in game number one. Um, so, like, maybe, like, with the, uh, what's the burnout, like, hanging, ar like, around, right? Being, like, an issue... Uh, so like maybe they said okay for this game it's like we should win uh but even if we don't we have like nearly playoffs uh, secured i think uh so uh it should be all right so yeah not the most positive news uh and note to end this video on but uh yeah again let's just cope ourselves into something positive and say they didn't try uh like Nongshim played arguably like some fine league of legends and uh yeah let's just say we took a bit of a break break and breather and this is the sad result of that uh yeah well whatever hope you enjoyed regardless and uh yeah hope you have a nice day and uh, yeah we'll see each other relatively soon bye bye my friends